Hello, I'm Brett Cooper, and today I'm going to be walking through a first impression of Zebra's HC20 and HC50 handheld mobile devices. These are Zebra's devices that are specifically designed for healthcare users, such as nurses or clinicians in hospitals or other healthcare environments. All right, first impression of these devices. First thing you'll notice is the finish on them. So they have this blue matte finish, which is slightly different than what you'd see on Zebra's standard black finish. This is actually specifically designed for healthcare cleaners to be able to withstand being cleaned. I think there's over 20 different types of cleaners that are spec for. The next thing you'll notice is the boot on the bottom. So they come with a boot, I'm assuming to keep fluids or other cleaners out of the device. It can be removed if you wanted to connect a USB cable to the device. The next thing you'll notice about the device is the red button on the back panel above where the battery is. This is an emergency call button, so if you had a voice calling system or emergency uh, voice such as Zebra's PTT Pro, you can press this button to access a channel immediately. From a performance standpoint, the performance on the A is benchmarked at 395 and 351 respectively for the 50 and the 20, which is about 25% slower than the CPU performance you're gonna see on a Zebra TC53. From a standpoint of running all the applications and testing things, didn't notice any lag. It seemed pretty quick and snappy. Considering the TC53 is the top end of Zebra's device, it was a pretty good benchmark. From an OS standpoint, both these devices I tested with were running Android 13, and they will be supported up through Android 16 through Zebra's LifeGuard program. From a performance standpoint, both these devices are running the Qualcomm 5430 CPU. HC20 comes with six gigs of memory and six, four gigabytes of storage. And then the HC50 comes with eight gigs of memory and 128 gigs of storage. From a battery standpoint, these devices support a Zebra 4680 milliamp hour battery or a 7,000 milliamp hour battery that is swappable. Both the HC20 and the HC50 support NFC badge tap for tapping and logging in. Badge reader is around where the emergency call button is. So from a login standpoint, you can tap your badge and it will allow you to log in if you do have a, a SSO system that supports NFC badge tap login. For cameras, the HC20 and HC50 have a slightly different camera setup. Both devices have a 16 megapixel rear camera and then the HC50 has a five megapixel front camera. So if you're planning on using video and voice calling from a front facing camera, you need to buy the HC50. For scanning performance, the HC50 includes Zebra's SE4750 scanner, which is very responsive if you're trying to scan barcodes via a linear barcode scanner. The HC20 does not include a scanner by default, but one can be added. But from a standpoint of using the 15 or 16 megapixel camera, you can use that pretty easily for scanning barcodes. In summary, if you're looking for a device that could stand up to the rigor of cleaning and the requirements in the healthcare environment, these are great devices and they have the performance you would expect from a Zebra handheld. If you have other questions or inquiries, please feel free to reach out to us at info at Thank you.